Hi everyone, I'm Aura Ogorian with ACAP Advisors and Accountants and welcome to another edition of the ACAP Recap where we go behind the blog and answer some of your questions we receive on a weekly basis. And today we're going to talk about the Dow Jones Industrial Average. But before we begin, remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel so that way you can stay up to date on our most current videos. Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about the Dow Jones Industrial Average. What is the Dow Jones Industrial Average? Why is it so important? Is the Dow a useful index? Also, how, how is the Dow Jones Industrial Average calculated and how would you invest in the Dow? Uh, next, we're going to talk about some of the companies that are comprised of the Dow and then how are companies added and removed from the index. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is usually referred to as a Dow, and it represents a major U.S. index in, that is used to gauge how the overall health of the economy and the stock market's doing. It was created by Charles Dow and Edward Jones back in 1896, and it covers pretty much all industries except for transportation and utilities. And the reason why it doesn't cover those industries is because there's a separate index for each one of those industries. So why is the Dow so important? It's important because it's one of the oldest indexes that we have. It goes back to 1896, as we mentioned earlier. It's also important because of its history. The Dow has experienced many, many business cycles. It's experienced recessions, depressions, um, boom uh, industries. It's experienced major world wars and also pandemics. Yes, it's included pandemics such as the, the Spanish flu, polio, and also most recently COVID. But it's really important because we're, we can use those historical events to see how the overall market reacted during those types of events and extrapolate how future events will have on the market. So for those reasons, the Dow, because of its history and its, um, and its existence during these major events, is an important index. The next question that comes up is, is the Dow a good or useful index? And the answer is no. Most experienced investors don't use the Dow to measure how the overall market or the economy is doing. And the reason why they don't do that is because the Dow only represents 30 stocks in the U.S. And there are over 4,000 stocks in the U.S. So as you can see, the Dow is not a good measure of the overall health of the economy. But as we mentioned earlier, because of its history and its exposed to many different business cycles, it's still regularly used by many investors to see how the overall market's doing. Also, another reason why the Dow is not a good or useful index is because it's not used as a benchmark for many professional advisors. What that means is many professional money managers will manage money and they'll have a benchmark that they'll compare themselves to. And the Dow is not a good measure because again, it's too narrow. Uh, by contrast, the S&P 500, which is a much broader index, is more commonly used by professional managers to benchmark their returns to. The next question we're going to address is how the Dow is calculated. Every day at the at close of stock prices, the 30 stocks are added up. The sum of those is divided by a divisor that's created by the Dow. And the Dow's divisor is based on different corporate events that happen. So for example, if there's a spin-off, a split up, or any kind of corporate event that will affect that divisor and as a result have an impact on the, um, the calculation of the Dow. Now, if you wanna learn some more information about spin-offs and split-ups, please refer to our other video or article um, that talks more in depth about those types of corporate actions. Uh, the Dow is also a price-weighted index. What that means is the largest, the, the company that has the highest stock price has the largest effect on the impact of the Dow. So for example, if you have a stock that's worth $100 a share and you have a stock that's worth $20 a share and they're both in the Dow, the one that's $100 a share is gonna have a much greater impact on the calculation of the Dow because of the way that it's calculated. Now that we know what the Dow is and how it's calculated, next question is how does one invest in the Dow? 
And before 1976, the only way to really invest in the Dow was to actually buy all the stocks that represented the Dow. And if a company was removed or added, you would have to essentially sell that stock and then buy the one that was added. But what happened in 1976 is Jack Bogle, who invented, who started uh, Vanguard, invented the first index fund. And that index fund essentially allowed investors to buy an index such as the Dow with just one investment. Right now, the most popular index fund that's out there, which is an exchange traded fund that allows you to buy the Dow, is called the DIA, also known as the Diamonds. It's the largest one out there. It's got the lowest cost, and it also tracks the Dow very, very closely. So how are companies added or removed from the Dow? There's really no set criteria, but there is a committee that determines which companies are going to add and which companies are going to remove from the Dow Jones. But one criteria that's known is that the companies have to be large and influential. So for example, recently the Dow was changed to uh, remove Pfizer, uh, Raytheon, and also Exxon. And the committee decided to replace those companies with Salesforce, Amgen, and Honeywell. Now the irony there is that Honeywell, even though it was recently added, it was owned by one of the oldest Dow components, which was General Electric. So when General Electric spun off Honeywell in 2017, Honeywell became so large that it now warranted being part of the Dow Jones. So what companies are part of the Dow now? They include Apple, American Express, Nike, Microsoft, Disney. The list goes on and on. And as you can see, there are a lot of companies, but the maximum number of companies that are in the Dow are 30. Thank you for joining us for another edition of the ACAP Recap. My name is Aura Ogorian with ACAP Advisors and Accountants, and today we cover the Dow Jones Industrial Average. If there's a topic that you want us to cover, please make sure to contact us in the Contact Us page or just submit a comment below. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that way you stay up to date on some of our most, some of our most current videos.